What's up, yo? It's your boy, Mikey Reyes, back on my channel. You already know. Alam mo na sa being first and foremost, I'd like to say I appreciate all of you who keep supporting this channel, who keep viewing our videos. Man, the the uprising of this channel is unbelievable. Like, sulit talaga lahat ng trabaho every day, lahat ng interview, lahat ng lahat na edit, lahat ng thumbnail, lahat ng pag-isip ng content. Sobrang sulit lahat because it's just on the rise, man. And I have nothing but appreciation for all of you for continuing to enjoy and spend time sa channel natin. Just keep just watching our videos and enjoying our content. Alright? So, mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, better late than never, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell just to make sure y'all updated because you already know more basketball content coming your way. Alright? Midday quick too. You already know it's time. Lunch break nyo. Usap muna tayo. Kwentuhan muna tayo about the latest in basketball. In Philippine basketball, that is. So, ano ba meron? Kagabi, bago ako matulog, I was on my social media the same way, like every night, di ba? Nag-Twitter ako, and then I was just going around, and I see this article. I think it was from Spin. Yeah, I think it was from Spin.ph. It was about, um, it was... An interview from Paulo Bugia, the yeah, boss Paulo Bugia of the Phoenix Fuel Masters, and he was talking about the reason why they decided to trade itong si Calvin Abueva. And I'm gonna just get this. I'm gonna just put this out there, ha. Dudes, may mga narin, may mga nababasa kasi ako that it was a farm team trade. It wasn't the farm team trade, guys. It wasn't the same as. Di ko sasabihin. Makukot ako. <laughs> Alam niyo na yon. Pero hindi siya farm team trade. Okay, it was not a trade. It was not a lopsided trade. And yeah, alam ko, iniisip ninyo, who the hell is gonna get rid of a Calvin Abueva? Well, Alaska did. So, hindi naman untouchable si... Kumbaga, hindi naman siya hindi untouchable. Pero, wala naman talagang player na untouchable eh, to be honest. Eh. Diba? Even if sobrang galing mo, like Calvin Abueva na super taas ng level ng basketball niya. Super taas ng, ng kumbaga yung caliber niya sa PBA. One of the one of the superstars of the league na kahit na wala siya ng 18 months, 18 months ba yun? Opa, kahit na wala siya ng 18 months, pagbalik niya, parang wala lang nangyari. He was still the beast. And with his production and his performance in the bubble, you would think na imposible yung i-trade itong si Calvin Abueva ng Phoenix Fuel Masters. And then, suddenly, nagulat ka na lang. Ayun, tinrade na nga for Chris Panchero. And from my point of view, wala namang player na, hindi naman pagagalingan lagi yung trades eh. Hindi naman pag tinrade, ibig sabihin hindi ka nagagalingan sa kanya. There are just a lot, a lot of factors, di ba, that come with having a team and having players na you feel could complement each other and same goal, same, same mindset. Di ba si na James Harden, tinrade din naman kasi medyo nag-iiba yung mindset ni James Harden nung time na yun. Even though he was James Harden, he's still as good as James Harden. So, yun yung sinasabi natin, yun yung nababasa ko dun sa sinabi ni Coach Paolo Bugia. And from my perspective, the team will always come first. If you feel that there is like a few players or one player na medyo iba yung, yung takbo, yung takbo ng iniisip, yung ano, de, hindi naman masama to look around, di ba? And see, especially if, if, if that player has enough value na may trade value si Calvin eh. Any team would love to have Calvin, Abu Ab Calvin Abueva. So, I'm sure, sabi nga sa article, parang hindi nagkakatugma off the court, ang Phoenix at uh, si Kuya Calvin. And hindi, hindi naman yun mali Phoenix or mali si Kuya Calvin. There was mutual respect. I saw what uh, Boss Paolo Bugia said na sinasabi niya that they were willing na nga and they were ready to have a long-term relationship with Calvin. Of, uh, Calvin. Lagi ako Calvin of Tana ng Calvin of Tana. Pagpasok ko ng PBA, Calves, mahirapan ako lalo. But yeah, Boss Pao said that they had long-term plans with Calvin Abueva. But it didn't work that way. And they decided to just part ways with Calvin Abueva. And it was also a win-win situation nga. Kasi si Calvin pupunta sa team na another a fresh start for Calvin Abueva. I mean, his Phoenix stint on the court was magaling talaga. Wala tayo magagawa. But off the court, medyo nagkaka-problems siya. Diba? So maybe when he moves to a... To, to Magnolia and he's around different guys naman. It's a fresh start for him. So I'm very, very excited for Calvin Abueva. Para naman sa Phoenix Fuel Masters, sabi nila it was a tough offer to pass up. Chris Panchero, like what Boss Pao said, is a superstar on his own uh, in his own right, which is very, very true. Y'all are underestimating si, Calvi, si, si Chris Banchero just because yung trade niya was straight up. Hindi naman straight up, pero was for Calvin Abueva. I know Calvin Abueva is a beast, pero... Chris, Chris Panchero is the beauty, <laughs> diba? So, and also, sabi ni Boss Pao, 
Meron ka ng Chris Banchero, which butas na nga yung point guard spot mo. Kung baga, meron kang two-way player ngayon na bago from the outside. You have the sixth pick pa, in which we would always say is one of the best draft classes in a while. One of the deepest. So at six, man, makakakuha ka talaga. Alvin Pasaol, uh, pwede ka makakuha ng Mikey Williams. Hindi naman naabot si Mikey Williams. Pero from our mock draft, Alvin Pasaol ang umabot sa Phoenix Fuel Masters. So you may not get a Calvin Abueva type of player, but your future is set for with, with the sixth pick in this year's draft, especially with how deep it is. Diba? So hindi yan lagi pagalingan. Hindi yan lagi in-raid, di kasi magaling. It, it, it was something that uh, Phoenix felt na they would be a better team. Not skill-wise, kasi nawala nga ng Calvin Abueva. Pero yung cohesive na siguro ng team and the oneness ng team, mas matibay, they felt, na wala si Calvin. Para naman sa Magnolia, eh, like what we were saying, you get rid of someone from your security guard agency, tas nakakuha ka ng Calvin Abueva. So I believe, y'all are saying, may mga nababasa ako na hindi to win-win situation. This is, talo pa rin yung Phoenix kasi nawala si Calvin Abueva. Like, hindi naman pagalingan lang ang basketball, especially at that level. Kasi magagaling lahat yan. Magagaling naman lahat ng nasa PBA. But, you know, if you're a team and you wanna compete, hindi yan pagalingan at parami yan ang superstars. No. Unless, San Miguel ka, kasi pito ata yung superstar nila doon. <laughs> pero what I'm saying is, pero, think about it this way. Pito superstars ng San Miguel. Isipin mo kung hindi isa yung goal nun. Ang gulo nun. E isipin mo kung hindi kaya ni Coach Leo Austria i-control lahat ng ego na yun. Magulo yun. So, hindi lang talaga pagalingan eh. Like, there are a lot of teams who get dubs. Like, let's say the Hinebra San Miguel. Uh, yeah, I know that they have Stanley Pringle and they have L.A. Tenorio and Chapi Tagilar and Scotty Thompson and all that talent. But, Coach Tim Cohn is there. Like, sobrang cohesive ng unit na yun. Diba? And it hurts, I'm sure, for Coach Topex Robinson to lose his anak na si Calvin Abueva. But, you know, I feel like it was a decision na only they would understand. Kasi sila lang naman yung nakakasama ni Calvin off the court. Siyempre, nakikita lang natin yung nga sa TV, diba? Hindi naman natin alam ano nangyayari like off the court and how the relationship really was already. Yung latter portion, especially in the bubble. Diba? But, talent-wise, no doubt. Calvin Abueva was a big loss. But, they're thinking about their future, their team. Hindi, hindi mo masisi yung ginawa ni Boss Pao. He, he felt like it was the right move for them as a franchise and as a team. And by all means, go. Masaya naman si Kuya Calvin. <laughs> Kuya Calvin now has a chance to win another chip. Another? Hindi. Di ba? Nag-champion naman si Kuya Calvin. Parang hindi pa. But he has a chance to win a chip with Magnolia. And I'm just excited for both teams really. Win-win situation talaga to. Sabi nga ni Boss Pao, gumaan. Hindi naman sa pabigat si Calvin. Ha? But then like, wala lang. Feeling lang nila hindi... Hindi nagtutugma, siguro. Feeling nila. And that's fine. That's normal in basketball, man. Especially if you have that many alpha males in one team. Alright, so I'm excited for both teams. All of them won, to be honest with you. Chris Panchero won also. Kasi now he has minutes. Diba? Hindi na siya nakikipagsiksikan to sa Poli, Halalon, Melton, Baroka. Panalo Phoenix, panalo si Chris, panalo si Calvin, panalo Magnolia. And to be honest with you, panalo rin tayong lahat kasi makikita natin sa Manila Classic si Calvin Abueva teaming up with Ian Sangalang, Paul Lee, and those guys. That'll be crazy. Alright, there you have it, man. Midday quick to lang kasi yun yung ko kagabi and I was thinking talaga from the start na nababasa ko na farm team trade. It wasn't a farm team trade. It was a legitimate trade for the betterment of both teams. So I'm very excited to see them compete in the upcoming PBA. Man, crazy times ahead para sa PBA. And crazy times ahead for this channel, man. Make sure to wait for tonight's segments. You already know kung ano mga lumalabas. Mock draft, quick ISO, and of course, your straight-up clips. Galing kay Renda ng Ritualo. And I'm gonna think about it. Kung may time ako mag-edit ng isa pang kwentuhan, I got a lot of kwento in my nandun, in my memory. In my, ano ba tawag doon? Basta in my memory, in my storage. Nandun lahat ng kwento. May Ray Swerte ako, Alin Bulanad, and all those things. And guys, an hours na. 9.17, Fran You and Me. Ayan no? Tuesday, 10 a.m., Fran You. Wednesday, 4 p.m., CJ Perez. Y'all better subscribe, man. Because it's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get more interesting out here. More basketball content coming your way already. No? Appreciate you guys. It's my Chris. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And I'm gonna see y'all tonight.